2022-2023 NFL playoffs, NFC wildcard round. Uh, number six Giants against number three Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings win a close one. The Vikings came back against the Giants in their final home game of the year. The second time around, the New York Giants will beat the Vikings before facing off against Tom Brady. It is head coach Kevin O'Connell that uh, did play in the NFL as a player. He had six pass. He had six passing attempts in four completions. Six passing attempts, four completions, 64. He coaches for the team at Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minneapolis, Minnesota is Jamacho 64. New York Giants is Jamacho 64. Kevin O'Connell, that's why his first playoff game is against the Giants with six passing attempts, four completions. O'Connell is Jamacho 90. The Minnesota Vikings is Jamacho 90. It is Indianapolis as Jamacho 123. Uh, the Vikings beat the Giants have a 12 and 3 record when the Giants beat the Vikings in the rematch the Giants will face off against Tom Brady who would get revenge for two Super Bowl losses against the Giants one at Glendale this year's site the other being at Indianapolis in Super Bowl 46 so the inverse is f uh, four completions and six passing attempts uh the uh the New York Giants get their 25th playoff win against Coach Kevin O'Connell. It is Kevin that is Jamacha 25. It is Giants that is Jamacha 25. The Vikings are going for 9-1 at home with the chance to face off against the Buccaneers. Buccaneers is Jamacha 91. Vikings is Jamacha 91. There is a total of 51 points in this game right here. The Giants will be playing their 51st playoff game after they beat the Vikings. They're going to travel to Tampa. Tampa is Jamacha 15. We don't see the, the Vikings going 9-1 at home. Instead, the Vikings are going to finish 8-2 at home. It is the city of Tampa Bay, Florida. In initials, that is Jamacha 82. The Vikings finish 8-2 at home for the season. The Vikings lose their 52nd playoff game. They finish the year with 52 playoff games. It is Dable that is Jamacha 46 in 19. Brian Dable has Jamacha 90. He goes up in the playoffs against the Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings is Jamacha 90. Brian Dable has the same Jamacha as Minnesota Vikings. Now, Kirk Cousins, after 56 prior Super Bowls, Kirk Cousins, 56 prior Super Bowls before this year. He's going to finish with a 5-6 and six record against the New York Giants this season. A postseason record for Kirk Cousins, 1-3. It's going to finish 1-4. It's going to be five games in one win. The Giants travel to Tampa. Tampa, Jamacha, 51. Five games, one win for Kirk Cousins. Cousins doesn't get the win against the Giants. Cousins is Jamacha 28. Vikings opponents finished 2 and 80 against the Vikings at home this year. Kirk Cousins is Jamacha 50. The Giants' 50th playoff game is going to occur against Kirk Cousins, the Vikings quarterback. Uh, the Vikings lose their 31st playoff game in existence against the New York Giants. The New York Giants will win their 13th game against the Minnesota Vikings. This could be a connection to the Packers. 13 championships. Uh, the Packers go from five. The Vikings go from five to six losses against the Giants. With 56 prior Super Bowls once again. The Giants with 24 points against the Vikings. It is the box size to Mantra 24. They enter that game with 24 playoff wins in the New York Giants. Scoring 24 points against the Vikings. You, you, you can definitely say scripted. You, you definitely can. The Giants' last road game of the season against Philly. And then the Giants hand the Vikings... A home loss to finish 8-2 at home. The Giants will be coming off a game against Philly. 
Philly is to Machu of 82. And the Giants could be 6-3 and three away before traveling to the city of Tampa. Jones would get the win away at Minnesota. Jones is to Machu 23. The city of Tampa is to Machu 63. 6-3 six before heading off to face off against the Patriots. Tom Brady 6-3 Super Bowl record with the Patriots. This one has a preview of the divisional round uh, all over it. All over it. Uh, Brian Table doesn't have any connections to Minnesota Vikings, but Kevin O'Connell in his passing attempts uh, definitely does have uh, a tribute to it. Hey, I just wonder how many losses the Vikings have at home as a franchise all time dating back to 2016. You know, what loss at home would this be for the Minnesota Vikings? No losses in the playoffs. Three at home they entered in the inaugural season of the U.S. Bank Stadium. Okay, there's four. Uh, seven losses at home. Then going to, going to 2019. That's a nine losses at home. And then that's uh, 14 losses at home. And then uh, 2021, what do we get there? 17, they have 18 losses at home. Their 19th loss at home is going to occur against the Giants, who won Super Bowl 19. The next round, uh, Tom Brady gets revenge for the failing to go 19 at all. 